I hope you understood this part of the program. To further develop this program, we go back to program mode, go to the instructions, and now what I want to do, I want to put the indicators there. I want to put this, I'll use this wrong, and say if the limit switch four is closed, the limit, this limit switch is closed like it is now, as you see it's red and it's closed, and this one is red and it's closed. Um, then shot indicator should come on. So I need an output 24 for this wrong. That's output 24. And you can drag it like that. You can drag and drop the names there. Um, can drag and drop the instruction uh, comments there so you can put your own comments that's shot uh, sorry right click shot lamp and that should be run by the limit switch again we can just drag this and drop it here and you see it just comes with the instruction if you click on the on the item itself so once it's shut this will close and this will energize this coil and that will in turn uh, bring this lamp or indicator on program another line for indicator open we need a coil first and a contact and the other way around right the contact will be this limit switch and the coil will be This output uh, for the lamp it doesn't give me the, the it doesn't come up with the instruction itself but it just comes with the output so I have to actually write that there open lamp now we've got the closed shut lamp program and the open lamp program But one thing I'll say, with this one, when it's going up, you have to remember this is positioned in a funny position. It's not actually, because as, is, as you can see, the door is closed and this is pressed. So that means uh, this would come on, if we programmed it this way, this lamp, open lamp, will come on. And this would come on as well. Because this limit switch is activated, this one, and this limit switch is activated. So we have to really use a normally closed contact of this because when it's actually when the door is actually fully open, then this is not open. So the contacts are not open. So we have to use a normally closed contact, although the limit switch itself is a normally open contact. So we use normally closed contact and we um, change things around that we put this here and we delete that one you just click on it and press delete so this should give us the indicators open and shut now we have to program a jar again you can stop the video and you can program the jar lamp yourself <laughs>
a coil first of all which is for my output for my lamp I'll use that as my output and say this is a jar lamp and then use a normally open contact and a normally close contact normally open contact is it this one or this one right when uh, in a jar position this is not activated so we need to say if it's not activated and this is activated then the lamp should come on this is not activated so we need to bring this one here and this is activated when it's activated here and now the jar lamp should work this is your programming now we haven't included the stop button you can see again if uh, you can program that yourself now I'm gonna run this for now download it and run it to test to see if everything is working so far and take it from there now open open it doesn't close it doesn't stop we haven't programmed it and the lamp jar is open because it's halfway up or down and it just is fully open the open lamp indicator comes on and it stops there it doesn't overload the motor and we can now close it the jar of that indicator comes on now when it gets to the bottom the shut indicator comes on and it doesn't overload the motor again and that's good and um, now you need to program the stop button like I said, some people program the stop button to begin with, stop and start, and put a run uh, coil there, so, or, or use a memory uh, coil, so they can use that throughout the program, especially if the program is long, and you have quite a few rungs of program. Uh, but in this program, we could just start with this out, these outputs and do it this way. So this is your programming for the exercise. Now uh, you should be able to do the rest. You can stop the video here and see if you can do the stop button yourself and then continue from there to the rest of the program. Right, if you haven't managed to program the stop button yourself, let's see if you can do it. Go back to programming. At any point when you press stop button, you should stop this, these two rungs going up, going down at any moment. And once these are stopped, the indicators will operate uh, accordingly. So the indicators are already programmed. We don't need to mess with these. Only we need to stop these two rungs. It could be at any point. It could be going up, it could be going down. At any point, you should be able to press the stop button and stop it right there. So we could put a normally open contact of I12 in these two rungs and use it that way, or have a separate rung and use that by connecting it to an internal stop relay and then use it to stop these two rungs. I'm just going to use just the stop button itself in this case and then you can practice yourself using internal relays so we go here and instruction list the contact bit here normally open another normally open there and we can drag the stop button put it there and also here so let's see what happens now download it like I said we could download it this way we could just go here and download lots of people do it that way uh, and once
once it's downloaded, go to front mode and let's see. Run, stop, close, stop. Now we can stop at any moment and go a different direction. So you see, as it's going up, I can't press close because, because as you see, this is energized and that is not. So it's cut that line, so I can't even press that. Now this line is true almost apart from this close button. If I press this, it'll go down. Now you can see, um, press down, see close it, and this latch is going down. And it's made this line untrue with this output. It's made this untrue because it's operating it. Uh, even if I press open, the wrong doesn't go until it's fully down. And you can stop it, and you can see. Right, so the program is working. And this is good. Let's see if you can apply these rules and principles to program the next exercise. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Uh, these videos so I can rank higher on YouTube and make further training videos for you. Thank you very much and see you next time with another training video. Goodbye.